Francis, on average, what is the difference in premium between IUL and whole life for kids? Ooh, that's a good question. I haven't figured out the exact difference, but to illustrate, when it comes to the cost of insurance, an IUL is based on annual renewable term, which starts off very, very low, and it grows over time. And it does a hyperbolic growth where it gets up, 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 and then as you get older, it starts to really get higher. Whole life, on the other hand, is a level death benefit. So it's a level death benefit. How do they determine that level death benefit? Well, they take your assumed age, the anticipated mortality rate for you based on your demographics, and they're going to do annual renewable term. And they're going to see, okay, if this person lives till 80, annual renewable term will grow like this. And then it stops. And they're going to take that amount and they're going to average it for the whole time. And so what happens is, is you have an IUL that has an insurance cost that's about this much. And your whole life, your whole life might cost, you know, this much over the life of that whole life policy. Well, the IUL has the ability to grow with an index based on everything you put into it above the cost. So if the cost that you're putting into a policy is this much, the cost of the IUL insurance is this much, you've got a lot that turns into cash value. If the cost is whole life insurance and it's this much, now you've only got a little bit of cash value that's going to grow every single year. So it really limits the ability for that cash value to grow very quickly. So what we see when we illustrate for kids, the potential growth down the road, it's decent in a whole life policy. It's not bad, but it's not as good as it possibly could be with the IUL. So because of the potential in the IUL, I think it's well worth it to take that little bit of risk for those much, much greater rewards go with the IUL, fund it at that smaller amount that still gets growth. So you're not, you're not risking as much. Whereas like with whole life, in order to get decent growth, you might have to put $20,000 a year in on a kid. You could probably get some similar type of cash growth by putting in $3,000 a year into an IUL. Um, just because that underlying cost of insurance is so much less expensive. So so something to consider. Now the actual results may vary when we do the illustrations. I'm not I'm not going off of an actual illustration that I have in my mind because I haven't done any recently that I can think of uh, in order to in order to project out some of the growth. I've done IUL illustrations for kids and they're I know what those look like, but I have not done an IUL illustration on a kid lately. Uh, at least not one that wasn't funded at twenty thousand dollars or more. So I had the the last whole life I you the, the last whole life policies I did on kids, uh, we were funding them at twenty thousand dollars a year for the kids. A substantial death benefit. You're talking two million dollar death benefit on the kids. So uh, it takes quite a bit of life insurance on the parents to be able to get to that point to begin with. So yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hope that helps. Hope you found value in today's video. If you'd like to find out more about IUL and the whole life, check out these videos right over here, and we'll see you next time. Now go maximize your cash flow.